If you use Pinterest to share your content, then you know creating all of those pins can be a little daunting, especially if you want to make multiple pins for the same piece of information. Well, I'm going to show you how to use Canva to create a bunch of pins all at one time, including adding images, and it only takes a few minutes. My name is Kat. This is Canva Catter Day. Let's get to it. To create our pins, we are first going to use ChatGPT to get some topic ideas. So I went over in this example to ChatGPT and I said, I am a home chef who shares recipes and tips for easy at home cooking. Please suggest 10 Pinterest titles for my recipes. Do not include quotes in the title. And ChatGPT gave me 10 suggestions for my titles. Then I simply copied these into a spreadsheet. So I went over to Google Sheets. I added a column for title as well as image. I'll get to that in just a minute. Here are all of the titles that I copied from ChatGPT. And in this column, I've added some images. And this part is important if you want to automatically bring those images into Canva all at one time. To do this, you're going to click on the cell and then go over to where it says insert and image. You have two options. One says insert image in cell. The other says insert image over cells. You want this first option, insert image in cell. This is really important in order to get those images to properly import into Canva. So you're going to click on this and then you have a couple of choices. You can select your Google Drive, Google Images, or you can just upload them from your device. So I'm going to click on browse. I'm going to go to my desktop. I've got a couple food images inside here and I'll simply select one and click open. And it will place it right here within this spreadsheet. Then you're going to go up to where it says file and you want to download it. So you're going to click download and select where it says Microsoft Excel format. Normally you would use a CSV file to import into Canva, but in order to get the images to work right, you have to select Microsoft Excel and you'll click on this and it will download to your device. Now it's time to go back over to Canva. So here I have just a basic Pinterest template that I have created. We're going to now use an app in Canva called Bulk Create. So you'll click on apps and go down here to where it says Bulk Create. This is a Canva Pro feature. So if you're on the free account, you won't be able to use this option, but I am going to include a free trial down in the comments below. You'll get Canva Pro for 30 days for free. So you can click on that and you'll be able to try this method out. So here we have the beginnings of our bulk create. You've got two choices. One is to upload the data. The other is to enter manually. I'll show you both methods. First, we're going to upload the data. So we're going to click upload data and we want to navigate to where our spreadsheet is located. I have one right here. It says easy recipes and I'm going to choose open. Now I only did the first five for this particular one, but you can do as many as you like. And you'll see here, it's giving me a range for the cells and it's also giving me the title as well as the column for the image. And then you're going to click where it says continue. In order to make this work, we now have to connect our, our spreadsheet to our content here in Canva. So for title, we need to connect it to where our title is going to be in our template. So I'm going to click on this title right here. It says title goes here. It's just a generic title I put. And up here at the top, see where it says connect data? That's what we're going to do. So we're going to click connect data and we're going to select the title field. We've got that done. You can see it's highlighted right there. Next, we need to connect our image. So you're going to click on the image placeholder that I have here in this template, connect data and select image. And once again, that shows me that that is now connected. So I have my title connected and my image connected. Next, I'm going to click continue. It's going to show me the five options that I had in my spreadsheet. If I go back here to my spreadsheet, you can see I selected these first five. I'm not going to do the rest of them, but I have these first five that are here. And then when I go over here to Canva, it's showing me those same five. You can choose them all, or you can only select a few simply by checking these little boxes right here to choose which ones you want to import. 
Then you're going to click right down here where it says generate five designs. And Canva is going to magically create those pins for you just like that, including adding the images. It added my titles and it added my images. You might find you have to adjust the text a little bit. For instance, this right here, I'm not really thrilled with how that text box looks. So you can adjust it accordingly. You can move this text box around if you want to. Let me just move this over here. Maybe I want to make this a little bit larger. Bring that up a bit, something like that. You can also adjust the placement of your images. So let's just bring this over a little bit here and up a little bit like that. This one right here, I'm going to bring this up like this so you can see a little bit more of that image. Just a few tweaks that you would have to do, but it created all of those pins in only a few minutes. So this is how you would do it if you want to create uh, several different types of pins with those different recipes for this example. What if you want to create multiple pins? You know that in Pinterest, you can create a bunch of different style pins and it can all point to the same piece of content that helps add some variety to your Pinterest pins. We can do that as well. So let's, let's do that. We're gonna go over here and you'll see that I have a few different style of pins that I'm going to use for this example. I've got this one right here. This is the one we were just working on and a couple of the other different styles. This time around, when we connect our data, Canva is going to make those different style pins for us so that we can use them whenever we want. So let's go back to our main example. I'm going to close this out and just reload my page so that it refreshes for me. And we're going to go back to bulk create. So I'm going to go to apps, click on bulk create. Once again, I want to upload my data and I'm going to select that spreadsheet. Again, I have my columns, my title and my image. And we once again need to connect this data because I have a couple of different designs here. I'm going to have to connect the data on each page, but it only takes a couple of minutes. So I'm going to click on my title click connect data and connect my title and collect my connect my image right there. Next, I'll go to the second page. Once again, click on my title and connect my data to my title and connect the image to the image. And see, it's not really taking all that long to do it this way. Connect data, title, image, connect data, title. Two more pages to go. Here's my title, connect data, title, image, and my last page, my title right there, and my image right there. So now all of my pages have those connection points for my spreadsheet. I'm going to click on continue. Once again, I can select or deselect whichever of these options I choose. I have five different types of content here. Because I have created five different templates, Canva is going to now take this content and create five different style pins for each piece of content. So I'm going to click generate these five designs and watch what happens. Now I have different pin designs for each recipe. I have the 30 minute meals right here. I have five different style of pins. I have this type of content right here for my one pot pasta meals, five different pins. Same with my mac and cheese, five different pins. Because I used five different template styles, Canva created those different styles with that content. And now I can use these for my account. Again, you may have to adjust some of the images a little bit, or maybe some of the font sizes. For instance, this one right here is a little small. So maybe I want to make this up to about 72 points and bring that down a little bit. For this one right here, maybe I want to adjust this image size. So you're just going to crop it and bring it into position where you want it to be. And again, I'll probably bring this up a little bit. Let's bring it up to maybe 72. That looks a little bit better. Just a few tweaks that you have to make here, but it created all of those pins for me 
in only a few seconds. Now you don't have to go in here and create the template and manually insert your title and manually insert your image because Canva will do it all for you with this bulk create option. So that's how you connect everything using the automatic function. How would you do this if you want to create things manually? So let's go back to our beginning pin right here. I'm going to get out of bulk create right there. And I'm going to start over with this. So I'm going to click on apps and go to bulk create. And this time I want to do it manually. So see where it says enter data manually. We're going to do that right here. So I'm going to click on manual and you see, I have these tables right here. So I'm going to use this first. Did I do that right? Hang on. Yes, I did. Okay. I'm going to click where it says my first title here. So this is going to be my title. So I will type title. And then over here, I'm going to delete this column. I don't need it because I only have my title and my image. And then this right here, I'm going to call it image. Next, I can add my titles manually right here. So let me go back to my spreadsheet and I'm just going to copy this right here. Copy this and place it into my title. And let me go get a couple more. I'm going to copy this one, place that in my title, and we'll go do one more. This one right here, copy and back to my title. For image, because I took some of my images and I uploaded them into Canva, I can connect them right here. So let me go to my uploads folder. Let's see, uh, what was my first one? 30 minute meals. So we're going to connect that image right here. I simply uploaded them beforehand into Canva. So I've got that image for one pot meals. I'm going to go down to my image here and let's grab that. And for comfort food, we're going to go down and grab another image. Let's grab this one right here. Oh, that's the same image. Let me pick a different one. How about this image right here? So there I have my titles and my images. Now I can say done. Once again, you need to connect the data. So under title, you would click title, click connect data and make sure that you've selected title. And then for the image, once again, you would click on connect data and select the image, and then you'll click continue. It will show you those options and you'll click generate. And once again, Canva will generate those three pins for you just like that using this manual method. So you can use either the spreadsheet method using ChatGPT and a spreadsheet, or you can use the manual method simply by uploading that data yourself into Canva. But either way, it helps you create all of these pins in only a few minutes simply by using those methods. Oh, where'd my pins go? There we go all of these pins in just a couple of minutes by using this method. If this was helpful, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this in the future. That's all for this week. I'll see you next time.